Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Marketplace review. This time around, we're going to be reviewing the Magnetic Pickups Multiplayer. So let's just get right into it. So this is the Magnetic Pickups Multiplayer, the ultimate pickup system for Unreal Engine. This blueprint product allows for seamless integration of magnetic pickups into your multiplayer game. So this is $10.99, however, when this video goes live, it will be on sale. I don't know by how much, but it is on sale, so you can snatch it now for a little bit cheaper. Or again, even when it's not on sale, it's not too expensive at all. The supported engine versions for this at the moment are 5.0 to 5.1, and this is the download type of asset pack. So let's cover what this is in a little bit more detail. So this allows you to empower your multiplayer games with magnetic pickups. So this pack provides developers with powerful tools to create an immersive and unique multiplayer experience. With seamless magnetic pickups integration and customizable settings, this pack is the ultimate solution for your multiplayer development needs. So this is also incredibly customizable. I have got this pack myself and I have played about with it too, and this is very easy to change and customize for your own personal needs. So the customizable settings provide the developers with flexibility to tailor the game to their specific needs and preferences. So whether you're creating a new multiplayer game or improving an existing one, this pack offers a powerful tool for developers looking to stand out in the multiplayer market. So this pack is also completely multiplayer ready, as the title would suggest, and it also has a few meshes and sound effects included as well. So to name a few features, there is a time-based magnetic pickup system, there's also a physics-based magnetic pickup system, there are loot crates which will spawn in and then spawn out all of the different items for the player to collect, there are sound effects, and there are meshes included as well. So in total there are 8 blueprints and this is of course network replicated so you can use this in your own multiplayer online games as well. This is supported on Windows and Mac and there is also both written and video documentation for this pack as well if you didn't understand it properly or you just want some extra information on how it works, how to use it, how to customize it, that is all there to use as well. So there are no reviews at this time as this is still a relatively new asset pack, it's about two months old by the release date of this video, but there is a question that has been asked and answered. So the question is following a player. Could I use this in physics mode to follow the player around but not despawn? And the developer has released saying this, yes this is totally possible. The pickup blueprint features a pickup function. In this function you can simply unhook all logic which makes sure the pickups do not despawn and will follow the player around. If anything is unclear, please join the support discord. So essentially, if you do have any further queries, they are very happy to help you out and talk you through it and really just help out whatever it is that you need specifically. So what we'll do now is we'll jump into the demo and have a little play about with it. So as you can see, we spawn in here and we'll go up the stairs and let's go to the left to begin with. It's a little bit dark, so do forgive me for that. But what we can do is we can press this button. You see here it says two modes with a despawn timer. So physics mode means it will use physics to actually get to the player, so it will be flying through the air based on physics and physics alone. Time based means it will take a certain amount of time to get to the player. There won't be any physics, it's just going to be following a linear path fastest to get to the player over a set amount of time. So let's press E to spawn them in. Let's go to the physics mode. As we go up to them, you can see they're just going to be magnetized towards the player and come join us like this. Time based mode, after a while you see they do start despawning like that as well, but we can still walk up to them and they will still come to us if they are still there. Again it's a little bit dark so do forgive me for that, but let's just do that one more time. We'll go over and they will just start following us and being magnetized towards us as you can see here, which is perfect and this really does kind of remind me of kind of old school games where you have this feature. They're probably still in today in modern games today as well, but I just haven't seen it. But I do really like this feature, it is very very good. It just really helps the player so they don't have to always go to the exact location where the coin is. They just go in the general vicinity, in the general area, and you can increase or decrease that area as well. So let's go to this one here. So fully customizable, you can change the items, the speed, the amount, and more. So if we press E, we have a chest that has spawned here. If we go up to it, it's going to open up with all these items spawning out and just flying out like so. And as we go over to them, they're going to be magnetized and float towards the player. And obviously, if we were to just press E, walk up to it and stand directly next to it. But if we just stay here, you'll notice they're all just going to come flying towards us immediately. So this is a pretty cool feature, as you can see here. If we stand in front of a chest, all the items are going to fly out and fly towards the player. So this looks very, very cool. So let's exit out of this and actually have a look at some of the different blueprints. 
So let's open up the BP magnetic object coin. In here you can see all the different variables we can change. The developer said to me the main two to change are the distance influence and the force strength. So let's increase the distance influence first. So it's at 15, so if we were to hover over this, you'll notice it says distance influence. How much should the force applied to the pickup be affected by the distance from the player? The lower the number, the greater the effect. So it's at 15 at the moment. Let's set it down to five and have a look at what that does. So let's minimize, hit play. We'll go back over and press the button again and see what the difference is. So you see now the coins are spawning in. We walk over and you've noticed they're already gonna be moving towards us further away, but they're moving at a little bit of a slower rate. So they're gonna be moving towards us slightly slower like that. And then let's also hover over the force strength. So force strength, the strength of the force applied to pickups in physics mode. So if we were to increase this, let's maybe multiply it by two. So let's go back to this and then just double it. Let's see what happens now. So we'll go back over, press E and see what happens to these coins after they spawn in. We'll go up to them again and now they're going towards us at a faster rate. So you can see all these different things here. Now obviously I'm not going to be going over it in too much detail because I don't want to cover it without actually letting you buy it first. You need to buy it to be able to do this. I don't want to just give it away for free. But you can see all the different variables that you can change here and there's so many different blueprints as well for you to be able to change and customize. So again, I don't want to show too much, but they do have their own trailer and tutorial on YouTube which you can see as well or you can find a link in the description down below to buy this asset pack for yourself. So overall, my view on this is I think this looks absolutely fantastic. I chose this one to be able to show to you guys as I think it is really good and I think it's gonna be suited best for you. I think this is absolutely perfect and I definitely recommend having a little go at it or definitely looking at it further to see if this is something you want and need for your games. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful with me showing off this asset and giving my opinion on it and just generally showing it to you. If you did, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.